Welcome to Classroom Etiquette with me, Barry Winkledinkle. In common educational institutions, there is a certain code of conduct. Today we will explore it along with the rights, the wrongs, the la di das of being a star pupil. In this classroom, there are no stars. Marge and Donna are chatting away. Susie Sweatpants is chewing away at an obnoxious volume. And Ricky, dear sweet Ricky, cannot keep his pencil still to save his life. However, the instructor has a solution for this problem. There, isn't this nice? Tranquility, think tranquility when entering academia. Being prepared is monumentally important. Ricky has made the mistake of coming to class unprepared. As you can see, he only needed to bring a pencil and notebook, presumably for notes. Tough luck, Ricky. As human beings, we hunger, and sometimes hunger can get in between you and your educational aspirations. Ricky, our dimmer pupil from before, has come to class with a burrito. This is distracting, unless... Ricky, did you bring enough for everyone? Ricky wasn't going to play the fool today. He brought enough burritos for the class, making it okay. <laughs> Liquids, especially around high-performance electronic equipment, isn't the brightest idea. However, this does not give you the right to place bottles outside of a classroom. It is not only clutter, but you will attract the bottle fairy. Bottles! 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 <laughs> Mommy! Snookup's my butter substitute. Listen, I'm not working, I can't, I can't. And finally, there's the subject of mobile communication devices in class. As important as you think your friends really are, you don't need to have them beep, beep, and buzz, buzz you in class. If this happens, you will unfortunately be asked to leave. Ricky, for that disruption, you have to leave. Upon leaving, you will also be ridiculed openly. So what about all those cell phones with their buzz, buzz, and their bits, bits, and when's it gonna end? Come on! what you've learned today, I expect that the Ricky in you has wisened up. Until next time, I'm Barry Winkle Tinkle. Good night.